Chief Executive John Lee has asked police to investigate after thousands of people withdrew from the organ donation register. The pullout comes ahead of a proposed cross-border organ donation scheme. Police were alerted after the government noticed an abnormally high number of applications to withdraw from the centralized organ donation register. Between December last year and April this year, there were 5,785 bids to pull out. But more than half, or 2,905, were invalid. They were submitted by people who had never signed up to donate organs or were repeat applications. Chief Executive John Lee said police will check to see if those who submitted invalid applications had broken the law. He also criticized those trying to undermine organ donations ahead of a planned cross-border organ donation scheme. Someone hasn't even registered but asked to cancel the registration, I think it is dubious and suspicious. I strongly condemn such attempts to detract the value of this organ donation initiative. The first cross-boundary organ transplant occurred in December when a four-month-old girl suffering from heart failure received a heart from the mainland. Her success story prompted the government to establish a mechanism to match donated organs with recipients from both sides of the border. Officials said they have since noticed that some people have gone online to urge donors to withdraw or suggest that they should try to identify the recipients. As of last month, more than 357,000 Hong Kongers had registered to donate their organs. In recent years, the number of potential donors pulling out ranged from 266 in 2018 to 1,068 last year, with valid applications soaring to 2,880 between last December and last month. A surgeon from the Prince of Wales Hospital says most organs donated in Hong Kong will likely be transplanted into local patients when the cross-border organ donation scheme begins. In Hong Kong, for the past few years, the number of donated organs have been not satisfactory. For example, in kidney, there were only about 40 to 50 cadaveric donations each year. And the waiting list for kidney transplant in Hong Kong for the end-stage kidney failure patients is over 2,200. So it's very likely that in Hong Kong, the number of patients waiting are so huge that the available organs donated in Hong Kong will be very much used by the Hong Kong citizens. Lee expressed disappointment that some people have tried to disrupt the centralized organ donation register. Meanwhile, Albert Chan, the director of the Liver Transplant Center at Queen Mary Hospital, says donor information will not be shared with the mainland.